I always get a lot of questions. What platform do I use for trading futures? I'm going to show you guys the all new Iron Beam app, how I have set it up, my overall layout and all that fun stuff. Talking more about the Iron Beam app and how you can trade futures right through your mobile phone, your tablet, your PC, your Mac, pretty much anything with the Wi-Fi connection. Going to break it all down right here in this video, so make sure you stay Two. Yeah. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today, we're talking about futures. We're talking about the Iron Beam app. What is it? What am I talking about? Iron Beam app. So the really cool thing about the Iron Beam app, first off, is number one, it's cloud-based, which is very rare in the overall futures trading, day trading space. When I first started trading futures, I had to buy a PC so that I could actually download the platform to be able to trade futures. But now with the Iron Beam app, you can actually trade on a tablet, on your Android, on your iPhone, on your MacBook, on your PC. You no longer need to build a PC computer just for trading futures. You can do it on any device with a Wi-Fi connection. So looking here at the Iron Beam app platform, what do we have right off the bat? You can see, first off, I have a one minute chart over here. This is kind of like where I'm looking to enter my trades. I'm looking for, you know, pops and drops, support, the bounces. I'm looking at other time frames as well, but the one minute chart is normally where I'm looking for my entries and my exits because I can just see the information. You know, when the market's open, futures can really make some big moves up and down. Like right now, literally, we just ran up 10 handles in the last few minutes here uh, after hours. So very interesting, you know, big move here after hours. The cool thing about futures is that it's trading basically, you know, five days a week, 24 hours a day. There's a little gap in the trading, but you can trade futures at night and, you know, pretty much all day long markets open and at nighttime based on where you are in the world. I'm living in Hawaii right now. So, you know, it's a little different with the time frame, but in general, that's one benefit of trading futures is that you can trade futures at night, even when the stock market is closed. So if some big news comes out about Russia invading, you know, a country or something at nighttime, you can get some big opportunity. Look at this right now. This is actually ripping right now. The futures market ripping up here after hours. I wonder what is going on. Look at this from the 4,000 area up there to 18. Now, one thing when I talk about futures is I normally like to just focus, like if I'm looking right now, I'm looking to trade, I'm talking on the live stream, you know, I'll say, hey, I want to buy the 18s or I want to buy the 12s or I want to buy the 08s. And that's basically, you know, 4,000, 08. And I'm just looking at the handles. A handle is basically a dollar. So if I say, you know, hey, I'm looking to get 10 handles, I'm looking to get 20 handles, that's going to basically, you know, be a move from like the 04s up to 24. That would be a 20 handle move, a $20 move in the contracts themselves. So first off, the one minute chart, I've got an EMA on there. This is very simple. I've got, it's a VWAP but it basically acts as like an EMA on the one minute chart. So you can set up all these different formulas and different ideas. You have all these different indicators. You have all of these different indicators that you can go through and set up on the chart. I like to keep my charts pretty clean and simple. So right now, all I have on there is just the VWAP, which is kind of almost like an EMA, like a moving average in general. But you can see like right now how overextended this is from uh, that that line on the chart. So that's giving me an idea that maybe I wouldn't want to chase this. You know, maybe I don't want to buy up at the highs as this thing just ripped that much over. So I'm seeing like right now it's kind of overextended. All right. So maybe I'm not trying to buy, you know, this rip. I would wait for a pullback, kind of touch off of that moving average. And then, you know, I'm looking for an opportunity at that point. So over here on the right hand side, this is going to be my death chart. It's going to show me my kind of level two where the buyers and sellers are. And then I can also click. Like if I wanted to buy, let's say I want to buy right now, I can click on the chart. My order is going to go through. You can see my order just popped up there, that little blue dot on the chart there or on the on the DOM and my direct order matrix, you can call it. There's different ways to look at it. You, you know, on Iron Beam, they're calling it the depth chart. And then you can also go through and set this up, which is pretty cool. Like let's say I want to enter a trade and I want to enter and I want my stop loss to be five handles lower. I want my profit target to be 10 handles higher. 
So I can actually go and I can set up a strategy. So I wanna go new strategy. Let's say I wanna put a bracket order and I can set this up so I can go through and basically have this. So when I enter a trade, that my stop loss is gonna be automatically applied being five handles or three handles or whatever I want. And then I can set up so my profit target is automatically applied as well. So if the market's moving really fast, that way I can lock in that profit quickly if the market's moving. I can do stop orders, I can do market buys, I can do stop limit orders, you know, if the market pushes above a certain area and do it all right there through the strategies on the actual platform. And like I said, you have a bunch of different strategies that you can set up here. You've got all of these options. You got the brackets, you got the order cancels order, you got open and close, you got the multiple, you got trailing stop. You can really do some cool stuff and set up different strategies based on what your overall you know strategy is for trading. So you can build your entry exit strategy and then have it all dialed in. And then that way, like if I go to buy, that strategy is going to be automatically applied, right? So boom it's gonna be in there. You can see right now, today we traded live on YouTube, I'm up $152. Uh, Monday morning, making $152, trading for about an hour, trading a few contracts here and there. The nice thing about the micro E-minis is that there's obviously, you know, there's, a, there's risk, obviously, but the risk is much smaller trading the micros. For every dollar move in the micro E-minis, you're gonna get a five, dollar return so if this goes from the 18 to the 19s you're going to get a five dollar profit on that contract if it goes up 10 handles you're going to make 50 dollars if it goes up one tick you're going to make a dollar 25 so a tick is basically 25 cents a handle is a dollar right really simple and easy this is not rocket science a lot of people think that trading futures is rocket science that it's really hard like i don't understand it what am i going to do i don't I don't know how to trade futures. It's scary. I'm gonna lose all my money. Remember guys, this is the 21st century. I mean, we're what, 2022? The thing about it is most brokers are gonna set it up. So if you get to a point where you're going to liquidate your account, like you're, you know, let's say you have a thousand dollars in an account and all of a sudden you're down 800 bucks, that broker normally is gonna cut you off automatically. You can also talk to Iron Beam as well about setting up a maximum loss. Like, let's say you have a thousand dollar account and your maximum loss for the day is $200, you can set that up so it'll automatically take you out of the trade and lock you out from trading for that day if you hit your maximum loss. If you wanna to talk to those guys, the nice thing about Iron Beam is they've been around for a really long time, they know what they're doing, they can help you, you can call them, you can talk to them on the phone. These are real people, real guys out there that know the markets that have been trading for a long time. And if you have questions, you can just give them a call and learn more. There's a link down below if you wanna sign up. If you sign up, they'll give you like a, I think it's like a week long trial as well. You can simulate trade and learn more about the platform. But in general, I really would suggest, you know, if you're learning about futures, you wanna get into it, to check out Iron Beam app. There's a link down below. So let's keep on moving. What else do I have here on my screen? If we go ahead and look higher up on my screen, I have my screens vertical, which is kind of nice because all that information is right here in front of me, right? So this is the 15 minute chart. And again, we have that same EMA line on the chart. And now you can see we're pushing up to the 20s here on the 15 minute chart. You can see like that big old green candle there, pushing up there to the 20s, the sell off today. So normally I'm watching the 15 minute chart to get a better understanding of you know where the support resistance is, if we're gonna trend. And then also over here on the right, I've got my 30 minute chart and that's gonna give me the 30 minute candles. And I think the 30 minute really gives me like an idea like, hey, look, like I can see like, okay, we bounced off this area multiple times. You know, we got this resistance up here. Overall, we've got some really big, maybe bullish candles or maybe some, you know, overall selling candles based on the 30 minute chart. And then here, how my order book will show my orders. So like if I place, you know, an open trade, it'll pop up there and now it's active showing that I have a trade there and all that. So one thing that I do want to stress, if you're trading futures or really if you're, I think trading in general, is at the end of every day, make sure number one, that you have no orders open, right? No working orders, no stop loss limit orders, no you know, limit orders or in general, just no orders open. Because if the market moves to where that stop loss or where that stop limit order is, it will activate and you could end up getting to a position that you don't wanna get into. So be careful. Every day when I get done, I'm always like, I'm like cancel all, cancel all. I look at the order book, make sure that I have no orders working and really kind of, you know, cancel out, be done for the day, right? Like I'm done for the day, I wanna make sure I have no orders open, right? Simple, easy, one rule that I think everyone should focus on at the end of the day, 
make sure you have no orders open, cancel all, and just clear it all out, and now you're done. You walk away with your profit. Another cool thing about trading futures, I think, is you can really just focus on trading the action, right? You can focus, you can really focus on trading the action. You're learning how to enter and exit trades. There's a lot of liquidity. You don't have to worry about getting stuck. Like you can get in and out quickly. You can hit the bid, hit the ask, in and out. You know, if the market's really moving fast, it might, you know, you know, you have a little little volatility there. But in general, you know, you're not gonna get a halt, you're not gonna get some crazy move. The overall market can get halted, but I mean it's very, very rare. And I would, you know, if the market's getting halted, you're probably not trading anyway that day because there might just be too much insane volatility. But I do really think that trading futures in general, when you first start out, really gives you a better understanding of how the market moves. It'll let you really kind of focus more on trading than trying to find a trade, right? Because every day I wake up and I look here, I'm like, okay, look, this is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna enter this trade based off of what I know that's going on with the chart. I can see the support, I can see the resistance. I don't have to spend any time trying to find what stock to trade. I don't have to be like, hey, look, uh, I think maybe this stock's gonna go up today, or oh, I think this stock's gonna go down, or oh, I need to find a hot stock for today. I don't have to waste any time doing that. I can just literally pull up my iron beam app, I can dive into it and be like, okay, look, the market's at the 4,000 level, I wanna see a move up to the 20s. If I get a move from the 4,000 to the 20s, and I have three, let's say I have three contracts, and I get that move, that's a $300 move off of only trading three contracts. So even, you know, one contract, two contracts, start out small when you first start, you don't need to go and buy 100 contracts, guys. Just, you know, two or three contracts on the micros right now, the way the market's moving, you know, we're getting 100 handle moves in one day. I mean, they're getting some serious moves in the market. So there's a lot of opportunity, even when trading with small size. Again, you know, when the market's really volatile, you can trade with a smaller size, reduce your risk, and look for opportunities, you know, just trading, you know, one or two contracts. Some days, that's what I do when I wake up and I'm like, hey, you know, I don't really want to put on a lot of risk today. I want to just maybe trade and maybe the market's a little choppy. I can trade, you know, one or two contracts. I don't need to go and get crazy and, and you know, really get wild. There's a lot of benefits, the tax benefits. We've talked about this before. And overall, you know, just the ease of being able to trade. Just the same thing every day. It really does get to a point where you know you're going to build up that repetition and you're gonna remove a lot of that guessing. You don't have to go and figure out what stock to trade. You're like, hey, look, I'm gonna trade the overall market. I'm gonna trade the ES, I'm gonna trade the SPY. And the micros really give you a good opportunity for doing that. There's also the micros on the NQ as well, which is the NASDAQ. You've got the MNQ, you got the MES. If you wanna trade the full size contracts, if you're trading the mini ES, which is going to be like kind of the full size contracts, you're going to get a five, you're going to get a $12 move for, you're gonna get a $12 and 50 cent move per dollar move in that contract. So like right now, from the 14s down to the 13s, that would be a $12 profit. If it goes from the 14s, you know, down to four, that would be a $120 profit off of that one contract. And again, you don't need a ton of capital to start trading. There is no PDT rule and there is no nothing stopping you from trading, you know, with a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars. Obviously, there's the risk, you know, you can lose five hundred dollars pretty quickly if you're not, you know, sticking to the plan. The one thing about futures, guys, is you have to follow the plan. You have to cut your losses, you have to take profit, you know, don't be silly, take your profit cut your losers, don't try to average down, don't try to hold on to losers because you think the market might bounce back at a later time. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to trade the action that's in front of us and trying to make money as we go. So there it is. So there it is, the breakdown on the Iron Beam app. Like I said, been really nice, been really easy to use it. You can use it on your Mac, which is like a really big benefit. Like I said, before having to trade on only a PC, it was you know, kind of frustrating because I already had a Mac and I had to go buy a PC to trade on, but it's kind of nice now to have two computers. But anyway, if you have a tablet, if you have your PC, you have your Mac, you can trade with the Iron Beam app. I'll put a link down below to sign up, let the guys know that I sent you and maybe they'll you know, give you a little couple, couple extra tips based on, based on the fact that they know that you're a friend of mine. So if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button also. Let me know in the comments below, have you traded futures before? And what do you think about trading futures? There it is, the Iron Beam app.